Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Glenn Tompkins and today I got another video for you. What's hotter than the IPO for Rivian? Well, probably Shiba Inu. Those are probably the two hottest things that are out there. But today we're going to talk about the stock that just IPO'd yesterday, Rivian uh, EVs, and it's an Amazon backed company. And I got some other information on who's backing them as well. So I did a little digging. If you want to find out what I found out, you sit right there. <laughs> Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at our VectorVest YouTube channel. Always love bringing these videos to you. If this is your first time here, by all means, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you'll be alerted to when new videos like this comes out. And most of all, folks, hit the like button, especially if you found the information useful that you can utilize right here, right now. All right, let's get hot and heavy into the story. So from the story, Rivian de uh, debuts on the NASDAQ, and here's what four pros are saying about the company now. So this is on CNBC. It goes into a lot of what uh, four different people on CNBC say, and not that I don't you know, want to hear what they have to say. I'm going to use the power of the VectorVest software to analyze, truly analyze the stocks. So uh, that's the first story. The next story is that as it comes out, Rivian is valued already over $100 billion in the debut after the world's largest IPO of 2020. One. That's huge. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot of money behind this. This was looked at for a while. This is not something that just popped up. This has been on everybody's radar for a while. And finally, it has come to fruition. It is now IPO'd and is now trading. Shares of Rivian Automotive surged as much as 53% in its NASDAQ debut on Wednesday, given the Amazon-backed electric vehicle maker market value of more than $100 billion. Amazon has got its hands in a lot of things, and that's why it's one of the biggest companies out there for retailer, if not the biggest company for retail, followed by in-stores, probably would be Walmart. But as you go down a little bit, um, that made Rivian the second most valuable U.S. automaker after Tesla. So all the EVs are going after the big boy Tesla, and it looks like Rivian comes out of the gate, smacks a home run in regards to going after Tesla right away, which is worth $1.1 trillion is where Tesla is. It's got a ways to go to catch up to Tesla. Rivian also has trouble ramping up its production in Illinois as supply chain constraints have hit automakers globally. Now that's the other side. It's got the money. Money, it's got the following, people like it, but this is what catches my attention right here, right now. Are they selling cars? Now, despite just having sell, uh, selling and a little bit of revenue to report, Rivian rate, uh, ranked ahead of General Motors at $86 billion and Ford at $77 billion and Lucid at $65 billion. Holy smokes, when you say that this company came out of the gate, gangbusters rolling, that ain't just whistling Dixie right there, but they still have to prove themselves and sell their cars, all right? Last July, the EV maker said COVID-19 and its impact on suppliers had delayed the launch of vehicles out of Illinois, but we're gonna see what happens. I'm thinking that, you know, all of the, you can have all of the, the following behind it, but you got to produce a product. You've got to produce a product. And most recently, Neo, which was auto, you know, a long time ago touted as the next Tesla, they missed earnings. Why? Because deliveries were lower than expected. So all of these auto companies, these, these EVs are really going to be contingent upon whether or not they can get the cars out to the people. The demand is there. People want the cars, but can you step up and provide the product. Now, when I said that Amazon backed the company, guess what? Ford does too. Ford's stake in the EV truck startup Rivian is worth more than $10 billion in the first day of trading. So Amazon owns about 20% of the company, whereas Ford owns about 12% of the company. So Ford's got their hand in the pot too, knowing that they're still going after the EV space that they put some money behind an EV startup. That was kind of smart on their part. So uh, Amazon is the real major backer at 20%, Ford is in there too, sitting at 12%. You know something? 
I'm wondering if already, all right, and he, he heard it first here, I don't know, if um, they're already being set up to be bought by either Amazon or Ford. Interesting. Again, that's just speculation on my part uh, from that perspective because uh, Amazon is probably looking over their shoulder saying, yo, they got 12%. Well, you're not going to let them catch up, and they might want to push them out the picture. I'm just saying that, right? So I'm just starting that already. Y'all can get that to go viral. That Glenn says, no, don't do that. Please don't do that because everybody's going to come knocking on my door and wondering, what the hell are you talking about? I was like, uh, uh. anyway, so I went a little deeper. I went a little deeper, and I wanted to see from the standpoint of the product being produced which one of these companies had the best product out there? I, I think that's important. Even though we know that Tesla is the big boy uh, with their model cars, but I wanted to see where Rivian sat. I wanted to see where Tesla sat. And I also wanted to see where Lucid Motors sat uh, because both all three of these stocks now are really big in this space. These are the headliners in the EV space right now. So started off with Rivian, went out to there. Um, the range, the range in the car, because that's important. If you're going to get into an EV, you want to make sure that you can get from place to place without getting stuck. So just from their website, it shows me that they have about 314 miles of range when paired with 21-inch wheels. For 20-inch wheels, our estimates show a range reduction of 10 to 15 percent so they need big wheels you remember big wheels they need big wheels to get big uh big range 314 miles all right then i went over to the performance uh drive rock crawl 100 percent grade so this is not only just um a truck or, or a pickup but it's it's really good to be on all terrain on just about any terrain which is kind of cool take you anywhere with a zero to 60 mile time as quick as three seconds an electric vehicle that's fast. So people who are performance people would like the car, people who want to get around and go over like uh, here in North Carolina, Uwari, where you go over all the rocks and stuff, maybe this will be well, will do, uh, do good for that as well. Uh, it also delivers on-road handling of a sports car. Hmm. All right. So uh, that was looking at the range and the performance on the Rivian. Let's go over to the Tesla. And I only looked at one of the cars, the Model 3. Uh, I could have looked at any of the cars, but I just, I looked at the Model 3. Now, this is two different things. One is a truck, one is a car, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and I got that. So I looked at the range on the car, uh, long range, long range, all-wheel drive, sitting about 358 miles, um, 4.20 seconds from 0 to 60. The truck has got a faster acceleration than the car. Hmm. And but the Tesla gets a little bit more mileage on long range. And again, this is only on one of their model cars. They got a couple of different. So I just picked a model. Now, I don't know if you guys all knew this, but let's move over to the Lucid. Lucid has got a range of 520 miles. Did you guys know that? In the chat, let me know. I know this is a recorded video, but I want to know, did you know that it had that kind of range? It's got a 1,000 horsepower, uh, approximate minutes to charge, about 20 minutes. Lucid looks real good as far as a car wants to buy. Quarter mile, 9.9 .9 seconds. Zero to 60, less than three seconds at two and a half seconds holy smokes this car looks like it's ripping and running it's about a seventy-seven thousand dollar car they just started really selling now lucid's been around um but they weren't selling cars but now they're selling cars and this looks really good to me from the aspect of performance now i'll probably do more videos on this looking at especially uh the other tesla cars because i know that that 314 is it can't just all be it can't just all be it all right so that's the information i found out about uh the other cars we talked a little bit about what's going on with the ipo i love that it's backed by amazon i love that it's backed by ford amongst other companies that are backing up the company as well all right so now let's go into the vector vest software and take a look at it all right here's the three stocks here's tesla here's lucid here's rivian all sorted by our master indicator because rivian is brand new there's a lot of not a lot of information that i have on it yet but i, I think that 
um, with the backing. And, and, and the big thing for me with Rivian, it's got to sell cars. If it sells cars with the backing that it has, it should have a great opportunity to go up. Today, it's up 22%. Uh, Lucid is up 9%. Tesla, um, we found out, and if you look at Trending Thursday, if you looked at Trending Thursday yesterday, you will see that Tesla... Uh, uh, Elon Musk did sell uh, a lot of his shares to cover his tax bill, blah, 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 blah. Even with that, the stock is rebounding. All right, let's go take a look at the graph on all of these. Here's Tesla. <clears throat> Here's the news about the selling of his stock to cover his tax bill. That's a little bit of a pullback. But, be, you know, prior to that, nicely moving higher. This is all news driven. Uh, look at the earnings on it. The volume, the uh, RT is still above one. Here's Lucid. I'm liking that car, folks. All right, now the big thing is they are selling cars. Can they continue to sell cars? I think it's at a good price point of $77,000. We'll see how that works out. But now, now that they're selling the cars, the stock is moving up. A couple of days of a pullback right here. Earnings look good. Let's go see what happens. Now, Rivian, the you know brand new stock, it IPO'd, and then look at the gap up after the IPO. There's still a lot of buzz behind it. I'm not a big fan of investing in an IPO because it tends to pull back. But right now, it's got legs. Right now, it's got legs. The volume, got a lot of trading days still left. The volume is there. Uh, the three and the eight have crossed already right out of the box. Little wick at the top, a lot more open body on the stock. So with that all being said, folks, that's what I've got to bring to you on the Rivian IPO. Am I going to do more videos on it? Absolutely, especially as I get more news on it. And I think I'm going to continue to track these three main stocks, amongst others, as they make the news. But these are going to be the three core stocks that I'm going to look at in the EV space. Uh, I know that Vicinity Motors is a company that you guys have been looking at as well. If you looked at Trending Thursday, you'll see what I talked about that yesterday as well. So, folks, with that, this video is over. Thank you for supporting the channel. Again, if you like the information that you saw today, hit the like button, especially if you found out uh, 500 miles on the Lucid car, 500 miles, man, 20 minutes to recharge. Again, as I dig deeper into this, I'm going to analyze these more and bring them to your attention. All right. And if you want to see more, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more about the EV space right now, since it's such a hot space, you let me know in the comments and that will get me all riled up to make sure I present to you more content. Folks, this video is over and until the next time, see ya.